Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to um, Absolute Beginner Guitar series that I've decided to do. Um, in this video, we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, strumming, picking, um, not picking, but just strumming, but also uh, forming chords and what are chords. I'm not going to get too deep into the technical aspect or the music theory, but um, we will do that in later videos because it is important. But if you've never played before, you have no idea, you've never played any chords before, I want to start out with uh, the people's chord, uh, as Sean Daniels calls it. Um, on the, uh, we're going to start with, if you've seen in my other video, we are, we, we've numbered the fingers, one, two, three, four. So we're going to start out with the third, which is your ring finger, and we're going to put the third on the third fret. Remember when I say on the third fret, it's actually just right behind it. And we're going to pick that note with the uh, with your pick. Just make it, let it so so that you know that you have it where it's supposed to be, right? So because uh, if you're a little too far here, it's going to sound like that. A little too far over here, you have to press it harder. So right there, up close and personal, boom. That is that note is a G. May not be important to you now, but actually what we're making is the G chord. So that is kind of important to the chord. So we have G, and technically. If this is as far as you can get, you actually have a G chord here. All you have to do is hit the first four strings. When I say first four, remember we count from the bottom. One, two, three, four. Isn't that beautiful? It's your first chord. <laughs> so there you go. G chord. This is without that. See, it's just right, random notes. But here, all you have to do is press right there. G chord. All right. But to finish forming that out, to form it the way that uh, most musicians do with a with a box chord or with a closed anyway, cowboy chords. That's what it is. So we have this here. Keep that pinky. I mean that pinky. That ring finger right there. Then we're gonna take our index finger, finger number one, and we're gonna go to the second fret of the fifth string. So we count up one, two, three, four, five. We count over one, two. Hit that note. Go ahead and do that and see if it sounds the same. Should sound about the same if your guitar's tuned with mine. Okay. And then after that, um, I'm gonna cover that up. You're not gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna take my middle finger and put it on the third fret of the low E string or the sixth string. So count all, well, you don't have to count. It's all the way, it's up towards your face, right there. And then uh, again, hit that, let it ring out. Now what you wanna do, if you've never made a chord before, is you want to strum it. Just strum it very slowly. Take your pick and just let each note ring out. And it lets you know that you're doing it clearly and precisely. I don't know if you heard it or not, but when I did this one, my other finger was actually touching the string a little bit and it didn't ring as good. But if I'm... And you deaden your strings. Even I did it. So, um, so yeah, just practice that. Let it ring out slowly. Okay? This is your fully formed G chord of your open chords. That's what I was trying to think of. Cowboy chords are open chords. So if you hear uh, someone talking about open chords, that is the chords that, you're, that are on this end of the neck. Because you have open strings, when you don't uh, when you don't hit the frets above these uh, these strings, it's called an open chord. It's an open string rather. So this string is open in the G chord because we're not pressing anything down, but we are still strumming it. Okay, and that's why they call it open chord or cowboy chord. So there you have it. There is your first chord. You can practice that, and I'm telling you, if you're very new, if you're absolute beginner. It's going to be rough on your fingers. Um, but just practice it for a little bit every day. Get your calluses, toughen them up. If you're away from your guitar, you can actually just press, you know, maybe get your, dig your thumbnail in there, toughen it up a little bit. Um, another good uh, exercise to do is to take your, your finger, and this is just for working on your coordination, because not a lot of people do this with their hands. You have time. You're sitting in traffic, not while you're driving. Don't drive distracted. But if you're uh, sitting in traffic or, or what have you, you know, just, you know. So 
build up some uh, strength and dexterity. But that's what it's going to take. It's going to take a little bit of time for uh, some people, some people not so much. Um, if you're a, a bricklayer or something like that, you're probably pretty tough. You can get on through it, but uh, depending on what your job is. But yes, practice that. Right now I recommend strumming down. Just strum down. Um, don't worry about coming up. And if you're uh, practicing your strumming, and you don't even have to make the chord to practice your strumming if you want to practice your rhythm. Practice down. Just remember to keep that arm continually moving. Uh, Some good advice off of uh, Justin Guitar. Um, that's another a YouTube channel that uh, I follow. That's some very basic stuff. Like I've been playing for years, and I watch basic videos uh, like these, and I pick up stuff, even though I've been playing for a long time. So um, I highly recommend you check out other people's videos. But... Before you do that, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to follow me on my journey. Uh, one, if you're just learning and you want to watch the next video, as I do in this video series. Or if you want to follow my journey as uh, I've decided to get a little more serious, which is another reason I'm making the videos as far as uh, practicing guitar, doing whatever I do with guitar, whether it be joining a band, whether it be teaching, whether whatever it is. But if you were interested in seeing where it goes, go ahead and... Uh, Hit like, subscribe, leave your comments if you uh, have any helpful, helpful hints, maybe for me. Like I said, we're all learning together. If you um, have some advice, just put it on there. Uh, criticisms, it's okay. I can take it. <laughs> um, and that's about it. So that is your first chord, G chord. So uh, if you hit the notification button, you'll know when I put out the next video on your next chord. And it's going to go with the G chord. That's the only hint you're getting. So, all right. Bye-bye for now, and I'll see you guys soon.